Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back for some more Surviving Mars, and uh, if you've been watching the channel and caught the update, I am uh, recording this right at the end, or at the point where I think I might be able to function for, you know, half an hour or an hour of recording, so we'll see if I can get one or two episodes in for you. If these have been a little slower coming out than I wanted, I do apologize, uh, as I said, I'm nearly at the point where I can function again for recording, I hope. Um, missed a bunch of days of work from it and all that, but really hoping to be functional again really soon. We'll see what we can do uh, today, sitting nice and calm, doing a bit of recording. So, uh, where are we at? Well, let's have a quick scan over things. We got our, um, our dome over here with the uh, medical center trying to crank out a few more population. We have uh, eight and a half. Um, Eight and a half souls left to achieve our goal. And how many peoples do we have? Martian borns is 66. 49 Earthborn, 66 Martian born. We're officially more Martian than we are Earthlings. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I think what we need to do is just keep just keep trucking along. Make sure nobody goes into starvation mode or drama drama situations here and hopefully we can put in enough uh, positive growth in these areas look at that we are down to seven slots available in the nurseries definitely want to slow down the birth rate after that I think but maybe not maybe we'll just keep cranking it out and go crazy but we'll see so we have our electronics factory operation in fact nine out of ten employees working producing 2.3 daily that's terrible uh, they take three to maintain. They take more than a full day's work just to maintain the darn thing. Ouch. Lifetime production of 13 and a half. Currently we have four in stock. Ugh. Polymers we're sitting at... Yeah, we got two shifts running at five crew apiece. 4.6 per daily. On the daily we've got six uh, polymers production and 2.2 .2 maintenance. Electronics is two and 1.7. The machine parts is 7 2.3, so definitely electronics is a booger. A booger. Uh, this art shop does polymers, and this is the electronics store. So we're not going to get the electronics store operational at any point here. So let's uh, drop the volume a little. Apologies if that's out of sorts. Uh, some buildings not working, yes, because we are in a electrostatic dust storm for 10 more hours. Let's uh, let's actually let time go by here a little. Bring things up to a proper true speed. Meteor shower incoming. Oh, electrostatic storm took out what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, doesn't take out storage facilities. Dust storm in three or no, sorry, meteor storm in three souls and something something. Speaking of which, we have this thing I want to add in. I would really like to have some laser defense systems. I'm not sure how expensive they are maintenance-wise, so this requires an electronics to repair. and We don't have the electronics. We don't have the electronics because, uh, because it's a dust storm, so the shuttle is down, and the shuttle is down, so we don't have the... Oh, that's an interesting conundrum. Um... Do we have a store, a fuel storage here? We don't. Let's put in a fuel storage here. Unload this, please. Can can you actually unload this? Thanks, buddy. Wow, that brought things to life, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to go find an. Uh, this thing needs to be repaired, and it, oh no, it was repaired. Doesn't function during dust storm, obviously, but it was repaired. That's okay. How are we doing for electronics? We still have four and one polymers. That is very unpleasant. Not not okay with that. How are we doing up here in the whatever this dome is called? The clan hall, right. What did we name the other dome? Did we name the other dome? I don't think we named the other dome. Uh, I hear that, yes, control and arrow keys. Oh yes, excellent. That's the faster move option. So this is that was the clan hall. Hmm, this is going to be... This is going to be called... What What should we call this one? 
Um, the children's. Oh, if I could spell, if I could use my hands. Crash. No, crash. How's it spelled? Crash. How's it spelled? I don't remember. Crash. Hmm. I don't remember how it is spelt in the... That's wrong, but I'll figure it out. But it's a reference from a game I absolutely love. If you know the game, let me know. Dun, 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 dun. We are producing uh, some solid fuel. Uh, we're definitely not short on fuel. Uh, what do we got stored for fuel, actually? Uh, 400 units stored. Mm -hmm. Research complete. Research done in the Martian patent. Okay, so that is the last time we'll do that Martian patent because it keeps getting more expensive. Thanks, Elon Musk. Thought you were supposed to make things cheaper. Um, <laughs> hydroscopic vaporators. We still don't have vaporators, which is, of course, annoying. Let's go with the utility crops after that, and maybe... Um, I think factory AI would be really good. I would like our factories to produce more. And I think that's probably even better than the utility crops. Speaking of crops, how are we doing for food? Oh, good. We're still putting out uh, some serious food. 256, or 257 stored. Uh, water shortage, really? Oh, right. That is That was something that we were aware of as going to be a problem. So let's look into that in a bigger scale. Do we have any more water down here? We do. We got water here. We've got water here. To connect to this water, however, we are going to need funding to do received. something different. What I could resources do... Resources are low. Ah, funding received. Excellent. Resources low. Which resources do we need to bring in in our... Oh my gosh. None if we can hap handle it. We have 2.2, so we need two more trips of the rocket. How are we doing? We, we're so short on polymers. Ugh. Let's, let's scan the map real quick, make sure we don't have any sitting around. We do have a meteor storm coming in real soon here, so maybe we can uh, stir up some some wonderful uh, free polymers on the map somewhere, but I wouldn't bank on that. Hmm, none down there. There's six over here. Okay, there's two more there. So nine, six, eight, nine... Yeah, 14 polymers. Yeah, we really could use that uh, machine parts. In fact, that would be the thing to bring back, wouldn't it? If we bring back, say, five polymers, not even, bring back, like, yeah. Do we need five polymers? Maybe. What do these guys take to repair? Polymers, yeah. Yeah, if we bring back, like, 10 polymers, 10 electronics... And then what can we what can we do for machine parts? That'd be enough. And an extra five? 1.3 million still. Uh, a moisture evaporator or two. Let's do that. So we don't have the tech for them, but I think getting that food, that uh, stuff would be very very valuable. So we'll bring that back. We'll connect up this tunnel. Ugh, that was a costly, costly gamble there. So we bring that, we connect this tunnel, and basically what that does is gets us linked up this way. And I'm not sure about linking up here. I mean, we eventually want to, because there are one, two, three breakthroughs, um, and a key unlock and an eyeball up there. Uh, since we are deep scanning everything, the speed of scanning really matters zero at this point. So I think we'll just let that roll. Uh, how are we doing for this guy? We're still short a couple polymers, which are being made here. And I think that's why we've run out of polymers, because it's grabbing them for this. Daytime power online. A power storage, total storage is somewhere. Stored power, 8,230.4. I think we're doing okay. I think power is not a not a concern for us. Inactive work shift. Yes, we have two of those here, don't we? Do we have any uh, unemployed? 
Well, we do. We do have an unemployed employee or an employed worker. We have polymer shop. We've got uh, diner operational. We've got a grocer operational. The school is educating enthusiastic children all over the place. The food is being produced. Good, I like this. This is going well. This is going very well. I wonder if uh, maybe opening a second shift and going down... Well, I don't know, maybe. Maybe they don't need to go down at all. Maybe they're fine. A couple of them want to be out of the electronics shop, apparently. It's a rough place to work. Uh, fueled extractors. Upgrade costs five machine parts and gives us a 30% increase. Scanned. Or we could upgrade with two polymers and it's a 25% increase and just consumes more power. I think we need to do that with our... Well, I mean, these are not fi infinite supplies, but faster would probably be better and more efficient, right? This one is pretty much exhausted, isn't it? Yeah, 27.9. We're going to drop that to just one employee. Well, no, two employees. It's fine. Uh, machine workshop is good. Do we have unemployed, employ unemployed staff here? We do. We have one unemployed here. Interesting. But you won't work out there, huh? Maybe... Maybe you're just uh, more of an inside sort of a fellow. I'd really like to upgrade our research. How's that going to come along? Uh, oh, put the armrest up. Eric. Yeah. I need a I need a specialized chair, like an actual like cool gaming chair and and a proper table slash desk, one of those like IKEA ones that lifts and that. Yeah, one of those. Uh, science. We're making 468 from a research lab, 100 from genius colonists. Oh, I love that. I love, love, love that. 240 from our three explorers and 100 from our wonderful sponsor, the church back home. Um, I think we just keep going as is. Like, our metal extractors produ production increased by 50% would be fantastic, but it's... 10, 11 souls to make that work. You're listening to Mars official radio mm -hmm. So maybe a little shy on the tech to make that happen at this point. The, the car, the car, this thing, the non quite, not quite car. This is not a Tesla in space. It's an actual functional spacecraft. Uh, Gabriel one, two moisture evaporators, which is so awesome. Polymers and machine shot. I think we're going to bring him down on this side and let's do that. Where he belongs. Truck, you get over here, please. Go ahead and grab the metals. There you go. Look at them. Look at them bustle off to work. Where are you at, buddy? Are you back? Are you there yet? There you go. I'd like to get that uh, turn concrete or turn rubble into concrete tech. That would be really nice right about now. Come on, load these here, please. So the crew can take care of them. And then I want you to go and unload or load up everything that's in there. Research complete. Help them out. Love that about this truck, that you can do that. Uh, hydroscopic evaporators. Well, that's perfect timing because that produces a 50% increase to our evaporators, which I would actually think would be a good thing to put down pretty much right away. Now, where is this little heater dude? Okay. So we can have them anywhere in this proximity. Uh, let's look into that. Where, where's the line? I wish I could leave that open. So kind of in line with this front here and across these guys. And we'll look, say, one tile past that. Okay. And two tiles past that. Let's look at that. So if we put in one over here. And then we put another one. Actually, we could put another one right over here as well. I wonder, can we fit it in beside that without without upgrading the heat range? No way. Eh? We'd have to we'd have to tap it up one notch, which I think we probably have to do for this anyways. So let's put up one more notch. No, that's too many notches. There. Okay. Now, do I have room to put that guy in here? We do. I'm just going to place it and then double check to make sure it's an okay location. Basically, I want it to make sure that it's in the heat 
it will be within the heat and it's not gonna overlap they're not gonna overlap beautiful okay so then we definitely need to run our pipes I'll do this and that so we got our two vaporators that'll alleviate some flow nicely now this is going to be prioritized and turned on and our truck is going to come over here right away and unload everything right there please all right where is where is you you is there you is going to probably come up top and help build this because that's priority numero uno let you charge up a little bit now how are we doing we still need some more fuel over there i think we should probably check down here to see if there's some stored uh, there is okay pick up the rare metals please that's 12 of them in fact route here for rare metals up to here please okay good so we got some drones heavy workload let's give you resources are low 15 there and we can up you to 15 as well but probably not nope polymer resources low yeah we're working on that uh, explore guys where are you at do we have anything more to explore on the main nope so you're gonna all come right on down here because you're all going in for a ride well soon are you able to reach what you need to reach no not quite all right how's it going get there scanned we got the 20 metals the 30 machine parts another sector of scan with 1961 rare metals in there where is it nice look at that nice deep rare metals deposit there's so much metal up here this is going to be so worth getting at oh look at all the tech oh so much scanny scans <laughs> yum, yum, yum. that will be happy for everyone uh oh meteor storm has begun where is it landing come on where are you smacking the ground over here oh yes this is a lovely high priority spot apparently we will let that run its course, see what we can grab for resources. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll pound the place with some... I uh, feel like maybe it's like overlapping. Research this complete. Magnetic filtering. Excellent. So magnetic filtering is a 50% increase in our oxygen production. Now let's see if those are actually upgrades. I'm not familiar with them, so... Not working the buildings. I'm not 100% familiar with them. So let's see. Does this need an upgrade? Yes, hydroscopic coating is a 50% production increase and it costs polymers. Okay. And the, no, that's the subsurface heater. And yes, again, polymer upgrades all over the place and a 50% increase production. It, oh, it's done. Go. Go, everybody, in. Everybody, go in. Get in, all of you. Where are you? Oh. Haha, -ha, look at them all. <laughs> Scouting. We have a power so shortage. To scout. Got to scout. Must scout all the things. Uh, 29.9 in the Gabriel. That's fantastic. How are we doing? Are we just about there yet, bud? No. I guess not. Domes without power? What? How'd that happen? How did we just, like, blister all our power gone? Uh. What? I'm a little confused here. It's nighttime, but our Paul, why, why are these guys not producing enough? When, when did this become a thing? Uh, power or consumption. Power consumption. Um, what's consuming most of our power here right now? Power, power, power. Unemployed workers, too. Really? Why? Well, that's fantastic. I mean, that's great. 
Super great. Uh, wow. We need to build another mine. We need to build another extractor. Oh, we need to activate another extractor. Not build it. Uh, except for take some machine parts. We have lots. We have lots. Activate that, please. So we'll get some more. Now, what are we What are we doing for fuel? And what's costing our power? There it is. Insufficient power. Shut you down. Are we, are we powered up? No. Why are we not getting power from these guys? <gasps> They're out of polymers, so they need repair. Yeah, we have a major polymer shortage. That's the problem. <clears throat> All right, well, we have a temporary fix by grabbing these. That's not going to source solve many of our problems, that's for sure. I'm Panam Askevin, and you're listening to Mars official radio. Soon, this planet will require the same social institutions that are required on Earth. Hospitals, retirement homes, and of course, schools. Yes, Panam, we educator, understand. I believe that Mars will need a custom educational system, more efficient and less time-consuming. How do you think the system should be designed? Share your thoughts. Write us a letter. Listen to this. All right, you guys do that. Where's the truck? It's grabbing polymers. Thank you. Let's uh breakthrough discovered. Ooh, hello. The day claimed our last living founder. Oh. Spelling the end of an era for us all. Olaf Simpson, the last of the 12 saints, 12 apostles. Twelve disciples of the new ark. Shem, Ham, Japheth, and his friends who decided to join him. Not sure how that works. Old age, it to sad. Rest in peace, my friend. Humanity united on Mars. Super fungus. Alright, fungal farm upgrade. Not bad. What is this one? Safe mode. I want to call it a suffer sanity breakdown. Oh yes, they fall asleep and wake up six hours in six hours with sanity at 70. Colonists cannot commit suicide and gain flaws due to, uh, or gain flaws due to sanity breakdown. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, however, our religious trait means they do not suicide already. Uh, but no sanity breakdowns and automatic return to 70 sanity when they, when they break? That's almost like cheating. Uh, what's this? Gene adaptation. Unlock new crops and farms and hydroponics. I thought that's what this did. Unlock new crops and farms and hydroponics to provide oxygen. Oh, okay. So this is one and that's another type. All right. Biomescaping. The basic domes have improved comfort. That would be nice. I'm not sure I'm going to use many more basic domes, though. Water reclamation system may be like a late game... Uh, shift in priority, but I don't know that we need it. In dome buildings require less maintenance. Anything that requires less maintenance would be wonderful. Uh, water oxygen storage boost, maybe? I think this is going to be valuable for our metal maintenance because we haven't started mining metal, but I don't want to at any point soon. Um, University is probably going to be important soon because although it's 20 electronics, it's way out of our league. Um, yeah, I think dust repulsion will do. That'll be good. Everything over here is so expensive, but met rare metal extractors producing 50% faster would be great. I think we'll put it there and maybe drop we it. We found some useful priority. material in the debris from a small meteorite. Well, there you go. 30 rare metals. Uh, where are you at, bud? You are here. You're going to get uh, polymers first, so let's... Let's have a look at what we have for polymers. Down here there is some. Uh, go this way here and pick up polymers, please. Uh, yes, scanned 30 rare metals. Good. Uh, actually, come, let's find things that aren't... The, what is it called? Things that aren't the... Uh, tech. You know, the ones that just give us things. Where is it? Give us tech points. Go to an eyeball. Where'd you? Where are you? You go over to this thing. That's an ex. Uh, words. 
broken, sore and painful. Um, breakthrough, that's the word I'm looking for. Now this is not good. This dome keeps going into, oh yes, right. You need to stop being a metals extractor, okay? You need to get your butt back here right now. All of you. I love it. you can see him, look, like a little ant crawling across the ground. Then he pops right out here. Come on, there he goes. Okay, now get over here. Nice and quick. Zoom in around and get your butt over here because this needs to be repaired yesterday. Do we have polymer stored? We do. Get your butts into gear and get it fixed up ASAP, please. Now, what's our polymer situation like? We have 16 in store. That's without the truck picking up. So we are picking picking up. We are increasing You'd our... think the explorer had found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting. Uh oh It was a sulfur-rich regolith. Interesting. Focus on geochemical analysis of... Where are we at? 26 minutes. Jeepers. Uh, chemical analysis of the most sulfur... Sulfide-rich samples. Engineering research boost 10%. That's permanent. Or concentrate efforts on gathering as many... We'll go with the permanent things instead of like a thousand conveniently now objects. Uh, why are we not getting more... You guys are almost out, huh? We just don't have very many rare metals. Um, now, what, what's going on here? Did, oh, did I not power you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Oh, oops. All that time we're running without it. All right, power that up, please, so our, our water situation is corrected. Please. Because we only have these guys running water right now. Breakthrough discovered. And the extraction is down to oof, 6,000. Vocation oriented society. Uh, colonists gain 10% work performance when their stats are all in the green. I love it. Oh, another quote by Elon Musk. Frankly, though, I think most people can learn more, a lot more than they think they can. I think they can. And on that note, I think we need to all go off and study Sector something. Sector scanned. Study Anomaly something found. Muskian, do you think? You know, like go and research something about space or something? I don't know. Maybe we should. There's not any interesting, exciting music here. Well, that's that's just the way it's going to have to be then. We'll have to go out on a less than spectacular note. <laughs> but that's where we're going to put in a cut. So uh, where's the Gabriel? He's just about ready. 21.9. He's not getting stuff very quickly. We'll have to get some uh, metals up there. Three new anomalies discovered. Oh, man. That's so awesome. we got so much research to do. A sector with... 23 or 33,000 okay deep water would be a great deal to do uh, meteor storms over in 12 hours let's uh, we'll come back once it's done and have a look to see if it dropped any polymers for us I don't think it did so far no luck lots of metals though we've gotten over a hundred and some metals come in from that but that's about it no research nothing else well that was a really lackluster so far lackluster meteor storm but that's gonna be it for today Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for joining me, and uh, I hope these are not too delayed for you as far as uh, the... <laughs> I hope these aren't too delayed for you as far as the timing goes on release, but thank you so much for joining me. Hit that uh, like button if you are still enjoying the series. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and just finding us. Let me know what you think we should do next, and I would love some more feedback from you guys. It's fantastic. Keep it coming, and we'll see you in game.